For today's kitchen conundrum, I'm tackling lemon meringue tarts and the problem that people have with the meringue and the weeping. Weeping is when a layer of water forms in between the meringue and the curd and makes the meringue slide off of the curd. So I'm gonna show you three meringues, French, Swiss, and Italian, and which one will prevent that weeping. So in the mixer here, I have four egg whites. Add a little pinch of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar helps the stabilization of the meringue. And a little bit of salt for flavor, Whisk this at low speed until it's foamy, and then increase it slightly until we reach soft peaks. So I have one cup of super fine sugar, and I'm gonna gradually add it in. Now increase the speed to high, and beat until it's stiff and glossy. So now take a dollop of your glossy French meringue and work it into the tart. And now for the Swiss meringue. Four egg whites and a cup of granulated sugar pinch of cream of tartar, and a pinch of salt. Same quantities. We're gonna go over the pot of simmering water, and I'm gonna whisk until all of the sugar is completely dissolved into the egg whites. Place it on the base of the KitchenAid mixer with a whisk attachment, and beat this for seven minutes until it's nice and cool and stiff and glossy. This looks great, it has a nice peak to it. And then, right in the center with the Swiss meringue, and now our Italian meringue. This is a little bit different. I'm making a sugar syrup here. A cup of sugar, third of a cup of water, medium heat. The candy thermometer needs to read 238 degrees, which is just about softball stage. In the bowl of our mixer here, I have four egg whites. Room temperature is always better. It incorporates more air. A pinch of salt, and again, a pinch of cream of tartar. So while the sugar syrup comes up to temperature, whip the egg whites until soft peaks. So the sugar syrup, we're at softball, and our egg whites are at soft peaks. Drizzle in the sugar syrup, and now increase the speed to high and whip until it's doubled in volume, and the bowl is cool to the touch. And then this is going on the very last tart here. Now the final touch. Using a kitchen torch is a gentle way of browning the meringue. So now the true test, I'm gonna put these into the refrigerator for a few hours to see which one is weeping and which one will keep us from weeping. The moment of truth. You can see that this French meringue has already started to weep. The Swiss meringue, you can see the meringue isn't shifting, so this is a good candidate for a lemon meringue pie. And the Italian meringue, it has a nice body, a clean cut, the meringue isn't shifting, and I would say that this is the best meringue kitchen conundrum solved. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do you have a kitchen conundrum that you need solved? Well, if you do, write in the comment section below, and as always, click subscribe.